So, we're going again tomorrow? Can't wait. Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. Grata for Brayson Lee. <laughs> you gonna go for her? <laughs> uh, yeah, I do. Well, I mean, I, I did. Uh, broke up with her, though. Just too much to handle. Women, right? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, women. They exist. You're correct. They definitely exist. Especially the one you just broke up with. That one, for sure. What about you, Fliss? What about you? Are you, uh, with anybody? Um, what happened before? That's not really your business, Brad. Right here. <laughs> you bitch! <laughs> There, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah. It's, uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck <laughs> in your bloodstream. It hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. Julia ignored uh, Alex's warning and drank beer. Huh. Interesting. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this mm. plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. From the photos Alex took, you can see the flight badge on one of the corpses. That means the crew was from the Conwyn Island, smack dab in the middle of the Pacific Theater. Nope. Oh. Called it. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? <laughs> no respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard of a yeah, story. Yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around. Oh, so I'm telling the story it. this time. Interesting. I'll use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? <laughs> Playful. Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. <laughs> a top and a toll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, 
covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? <laughs> I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? The husband. So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, huh, the husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! Ah! Yeah, so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some. How's my relationship? Ooh, Alex is the highest now. Okay. Weather hitting, are we? Uh uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Okay, so, um,. The whole decompression uh, thing with Julia just uh, answers uh, my question. If uh, everything I did in the first playthrough affects this one, apparently not, because um, if uh, because I equipped Alex with the flashbang and he did use that against the door, but this time Julia used the knife to uh, break uh, open the door, which I thought was kind of stupid. But maybe it's because I didn't get to talk with Alex and Julia when I was Conrad on the boat. I don't know, so I'm wondering why that is, or that's just the opposite decision just for this? Is it scripted? Again, I don't know. And the other thing is, is that uh, Julia uh, apparently went all the way uh, to the surface while uh, she's supposed to decompress the uh, air uh, from the suit and stuff, so, um, or maybe that's not... Well, something with the decompression. Again, I gotta double check on that one. I'm not, uh, I'm not smart with that. <laughs> Uh, but I understand it. You have to decompress uh, before you go up. Otherwise, something goes wrong. Otherwise, you get the bends. I understand that. But yeah, um, because in my first playthrough, I waited to decompress. But this time, apparently, Julia didn't wait. So, we'll see. Okay, this time, I'm not going to have... Uh, What's, uh, I'm not gonna have Connie go on the boat. Seriously, guys, you gotta have better protection. At least lock the door. Who am I playing as this time? Julia? Ooh, I'm Alex.
Where did Brad go, though? He was uh, right under Connie. And I'm pretty sure these dumbasses checked everywhere, unless they're saying Brad uh, went into the closet. Gag. Oh, R2. There we go. <sighs> Connie. I'm gag. R2. There we go. Oh, he didn't get wounded. I guess Connie didn't hit him with the glass bottle. These are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. The good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Uh, talk. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? They won't kill us. Don't worry. If they were going to kill us, they would have done it already. Just worried about being killed. <sighs> They're heading down. Shocked. God, Julia. They're beating the piss out of Conrad. We gotta get out of here. What are they talking about? Who gives a fuck? I'm gonna kill every one of them. Yeah, Julia. Why Fliss? Why are they so interested in Fliss? Because she's the captain. So what? They want to figure out if anyone knows we're out here. Wait, why is Julia much lower than Brad? Uh oh, that's not good. I got it, I got it. <sighs> yes, yes, always pack a good cuticle clipper. Ha, nice, Julia. Jesus, Conrad. Wait, wait, no! Alex! 
Ah, oh, come on! You bastards! Deep stick. Shut the fuck up. And I'm not gonna pay attention to your freed arms. Dollars to donuts, it'll be Fliss and Julia breaking heads. Not the other way around. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Unexpected guests. Are you being polite to our unexpected guests? <laughs> oh yeah. We had biscuits and tea. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, no. I know, I should have asked about Brad. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. <clears throat> Fuck, motherfuckers. Are you okay? Hey, hey, are you okay? What did they do to you? I'm fine. They didn't touch me. They asked about our parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. You okay? We're gonna poke them in the eye with that scissor. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. She honestly looks like the girl from Midsummer. Florence Poe? Pugue? Got a gun. Confident. If we play our cards right, we can catch them by surprise. Take him out. We should just rush him. Take the gun. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. Connie, you better not leave. I'm making sure you stay with us. One, two, three. <laughs> can't you can't. No, I can't! Conrad, go to the other side. We'll hit them together. Shit. Yeah. Here. X. There we go. Yeah, motherfucker. I don't want to hurt you. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to hurt you. Stay back. Keep your eyes open. Oh, no. Let him go. No! Alex, this is crazy. You win. You win. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Oh, Danny. Olsen! 
Come here. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? I'm just glad that Connie's with me. I can't believe I pounded on three. I'm just used to it. Still Alex? Okay. <laughs> Supportive. Hey, all right. You gave me your best shot. All right, shut the fuck up! Oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. Thank you, Fliss. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. Fliss is right. Hey, come on. We're just passing time. No big deal. Keep quiet. Captain says shut your mouth. You shut your mouth. Circle. <laughs> I press circle. Sit still, all of you. What do you mean, sit still, all of us? You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. I did press circle. <sighs> Fuck. Talk. What the hell is going on, Alex? Are you okay? Julia, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, but it seems very possible nothing else is. Talk. No. And talking to you. Oh, okay. Anxious. Just, please, take the gun off of us. It's making everybody nervous, and nervous people do stupid things. You don't want blood on your hands, do you? Talk. Hey, that's enough. No talking. This ain't summer camp. Couldn't talk at summer camp either. <laughs> Triangle. Circle. Is she gonna throw up? Fucking idiot, we'll all drown in here! Get out! Thank you. <gasps> oh no, the frame rate for that one. Help. Be okay. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Again, oh, yeah. stop hey, saying it out down. loud. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now.
Beautiful. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Curious. No, I mean confident. You're going it alone. Independent. Admirable. Possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. <laughs> I say curious, anyway, I choose confident. <laughs> you've reached a point of significant distress. I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. All right, I'm back from a little break. La porte, la porte, vite, la porte. Oh, shit. Am I Julie this time? Yes, I'm Julie. All right, Alex Conrad, Brad Fliss, okay. I don't like being barefoot. Like rusted metal, ugh. How come no subtitles for that one? Alright developers, if for some reason you are watching my video, please fix the walking for the next games. Am I really not going to question that? Did I not hear that? I did not sign up for a trip to Creek Town. I don't like this place at all. Miller. What are they gonna do with us? Ah, oh, 
Come on, Danny, language. Oh shit! Oh. Internal memorandum. Memorandum. Just get on it. Did I actually take it? Huh. 